Ethnography, presented by Andres Lopez, Leonardo Slava, and Liliana Silva. The objective of this video is understanding the fundamentals of ethnography in the light of qualitative research. Here you will find the table of content. Feel free to pause the video. What is ethnography? Ethnography is the study of social interaction that occur with groups and communities. Ethnography has its origins in anthropology and sociology. The central goal of ethnography is to provide rich holistic insights into people, views and actions. The uses in searching. Ethnography method in search a product that looks at people in their cultural setting, their language and the symbols, rituals and shared meanings that populate their world with the object of producing a narrative. Realistic or mixed design in qualitative research. The term mixed methods refers to an emergent methodology of research that advance the systematic integration of mixing on quantitative and qualitative data within a single investigation or sustained program of inquiry. The basic premise of this methodology is that such integration permits a more complete and synergetic utilization of data than to separate quantitative, quantitative and qualitative data. Critical designs. It studies marginalized groups in society, analyzes concepts related to issues, for the purpose of reporting to differentiate the position of the researcher from the participants. Classic design in qualitative research. Typically, qualitative modality where cultural topics are analyzed and categorized are induced during fieldwork. A group is studied, a community that shares a particular culture. The results are connected with social structures. The microethnography is focused in a specific aspect of the culture. As an example is a research about reads and how are manifest in organization to select new associates in our lawyer's buffet. The research about culture cases. The culture is reviewing a holistic approach. This means that this strategy and an empirical inquiry that investigate a community within its real life context. The Methanography What Hernandez Sampieri and Mendoza said is that it's a review in different ethnography research to find a pattern. That means that with this method is combining data from qualitative evaluations and research, especially with the ethnography data, by translating concepts and metaphors across students. The holistic ethnography. The whole culture is considered and generally is obtained in high volumes of data. Due to this, it is only showed up in books. As an example for this is the research that George M. Foster did in 1987. When he did a research related to a community located in Mexico, Tzitzutzan, Michoacan. Particularistic ethnography is when the holistic methodology mentioned above is applied only to a limited group of people instead of a large population. For example, studying university teachers from a specific faculty instead of teachers in general. A transversal ethnography seeks to study a determined population but only at a certain time or moment of their existence. A great example for this could be uh, the indigenous Wayu tribes during the peace treaty in Colombia in the years 2016 and 17. 
An ethnohistorical ethnography is a contrast and basically a situation where a cultural reality is studied as a product of an event from the past. A great example for this could be the rise of racist groups in the United States of America uh, thanks to the election of President Donald Trump. Um, to begin an ethnography, uh, the first step is to pick a population or an object study. With the aim of understanding and interpreting a reality or problem, to then connect it to a modern context in order to provide knowledge and theoretical statements. Now that we have taken a look at the different aspects and different ways to do a ethnography, uh, it is important to highlight once again that an ethnography or the main focus of an ethnography is people and more specifically people inside of their cultural settings. There are indeed many different ways uh, or many different little details that change throughout the different methods and approaches uh, that are done in an ethnography. But in the end, an ethnography does this. It studies people in their cultural context. Thank you for watching this video on ethnography. We really hope that you enjoyed it. We also hope that you can use this as a guide whenever you need to do an ethnography yourself. Thank you and goodbye.